We're here at the offices of the Polish Regulatory Authority in Warsaw, Poland, and I'm very pleased to be joined by the President of the Polish Regulatory Authority, Ms. Magdalena Guy. Ms. Guy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Now, we're here for the Global Symposium for Regulators 2013. It's an outstanding event in ITU's calendar. I wanted to ask you, why did Poland offer to host GSR 13, and why is this event important to you? Uh, Global Symposium for Regulators is a significant uh, conference in our uh, telecommunication uh, world. Uh, governments, uh, regulators, uh, market players uh, can meet during the symposium and this kind of combination uh, give us the uh, opportunity to find a uh, good solution and share our knowledge, our uh, idea uh, which we uh, need to achieve our goals uh, because all of us, um, regulators, governments, ministers uh, should build digital society and we need um, more and more and more investment uh, in the next generation um, networks. Uh, so I think that um, share our ideas, uh, share our knowledge, um, it, uh, it is needed uh, for us. And I think that symposium give us a great opportunity uh, for, uh, for this. And from another hand, um, the GSR is a great opportunity uh, to show uh, Poland as an ICT uh, center and a very dynamic um, uh, growing telecommunication uh, market uh, in the world. Uh, Poland is the leader in uh, launching LTE uh, on 800 uh, MHz bands in um, uh, mapping infrastructure uh, or in uh, broadband, uh, mobile broadband uh, penet penetration in uh, Europe. So I think that uh, we can uh, share our knowledge, uh, show our uh, experiences um, and uh, learn uh, from each other. I am very happy uh, that uh, I can host um, uh, this uh, great uh, symposium. Uh, I am very happy uh, to have uh, these uh, noble guests uh, in Poland and welcome uh, everyone uh, in Warsaw. As head of Poland's regulatory authority, what important ICT regulatory developments have been your priority for the Polish market? Investment, investment and once again investment. Uh, we want to build a knowledge-based economy in Poland which requires modern fiber broadband networks. While in terms of mobile broadband we are among the European leaders, we have still much to do as regards fixed line broadband networks. This impossible without wide-scale investment based on the both European funds and the operators' own resources. These are my priorities to support local government authorities and operators in NGN rollout. And next step after the GSR is to prepare auction on 800 MHz. Uh, just a few days ago, I signed in the decision uh, for 1800 MHz after the last bid, and now to the end of this year, I have to uh, prepare auction and finalize it. So uh, it is uh, a second my uh, priorities. Um, I think uh, that the spectrum management is the one of uh, most important tools in the hands of regulators and in the same time it is one of the most desired good uh, by uh, operators. Now, we've heard the European Commission's Vice President, Nelly Crows, advocate for a common EU market for ICT. What's your own feeling about this? Of course, uh, it is a great idea, uh, especially for end uh, users. Uh, especially, once again, if we are talking about uh, roaming prices. Now, uh, prices are so big, uh, so high, that uh, we can advise uh, to our citizens uh, go on holiday, uh, go um, uh, to work abroad, but uh, leave your telephone, your smartphone, tablet at home, because when you uh, come back, uh, you can be shocked when you uh, will see uh, the bill. So this idea uh, is wonderful, and I will always support uh, Ms. Commissioner uh, in this uh, respect. Um, 
For example, uh, today uh, we are talking on the 1st of uh, July. Uh, we have in uh, European Union um, the, uh, the time when uh, the date when uh, the uh, when uh, Always, uh, year by year, uh, we reduce uh, the prices of uh, roaming, uh, but uh, it is only um, uh, between the European countries. Uh, so I think that in other countries around the world uh, should uh, follow uh, this um, idea for uh, their uh, citizens. And finally, I'd like to ask you, what's the potential for the technology sector in Poland? And is it a thriving segment of the Polish economy? The share of the ICT sector in Poland's GDP is estimated at uh, 20 billion euros. It is 5% of GDP. In this respect, we are among the European leaders and we rank in the 10th place in the world. A decade ago, the amount was barely uh, 10 billion uh, euro. Uh, our forecasts show that uh, within the next 10 years, the ICT sector's share in the Polish GDP will increase to 13 uh, percent. The growth is based on two factors, our location and human uh, poten potential. Uh, and uh, our location is uh, one of uh, these uh, factors. Uh, we can be a research and development center for these uh, investors uh, who would like uh, to go uh, east. Uh, and second um, uh, reason is the human uh, potential. Uh, in Poland, uh, we have um, a amount of uh, people uh, well educated and um, it is not only mine this uh, opinion, it is also the opinion of uh, CEOs, um, these companies uh, from the ICT sectors uh, which decided to build in Poland their research and development uh, centers. So the fact speaks for themselves. Ms. Magdalene Guy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much, Max.